Hey guys, what's up? I've been asked to do a video on how to shoot video on a really windy day. So you might notice, probably not though, that it is extremely windy today and my audio is actually pretty good. Now, chances are you've probably run into this issue. You're doing a video and all of a sudden a big gale force wind comes in and uh, can ruin your audio because uh, that's no good. And then that shot can't be used and you have to reshoot. And you might not be able to afford that. So what are some options? First option is you can use an external microphone that has a wind jammer on it. Now, wind jammers, I can admit, they can get pricey. But I've got one right here and this one cost me 14 bucks. Why was it so cheap? Well, it's because I made it. I didn't buy it. I bought the materials. And the materials alone are only about 14 bucks. And with the know-how... You can do it. I'm actually going to link to the video that I used to make this. And it will show you step by step how to make these wind chambers. And if you don't want to make one, you can buy one from the same individual. So, link somewhere in the video or otherwise down in the notes below. Next thing, other than a wind chamber, is you got to have patience. Um, syncing audio is going to be a lot harder. But you just gotta tough through it. Uh, Windjammer will really take care of that and just know that your audio will be okay with that Windjammer. You can see the fur on this thing is going crazy. That means it is windy. Uh, what's basically happening is the wind is hitting it, but the fur is actually acting kind of as a shock absorber. And it's not able to get at the microphone itself. So as I'm talking, you guys can hear me pretty clearly. The last thing about shooting in a windy day is, you know, be prepared for anything. Uh, you could have a nice light breeze and it can turn into a gale force wind and you might have to change your audio equipment. Uh, make different size wind chambers. Buy a couple sizes. I actually have two size wind chambers. I have these small ones and I have a bigger one that I'm not using today because it's not that windy. I mean, it's windy for sure. But it's not windy enough that I would need to drag out that giant wind jammer for something as simple as this. So with that said, I'm out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.